Big new developments to tell you about right now in the Kilpatrick corruption case. Today, prosecutors are looking at how Kilpatrick handed out state money when he was a lawmaker in Lansing. 7 Action News investigator Ross Jones is live outside federal court. So, Ross, what exactly is going on today with federal prosecutors? Well, you could say that they're focusing on the Kilpatrick friends and family plan, as some have called it, and you're right, they are looking at how money was handed out, not when Kwame Kilpatrick was mayor, but when he was a state legislator in the early 2000s in Lansing. Let's get you caught up on what happened today. The government's first witness testified that while Kwame Kilpatrick was a state legislator in 2000, he steered two Two state grants to his wife Carlita and friend Bobby Ferguson. The state budget director at the time testified this morning that Kilpatrick never told her that any of the $300,000 grant he was pushing for would end up in his wife's pocket. She only found out, she said, when Kilpatrick called her office asking that the state send the second half of that grant money. Well, the state wanted to see receipts showing where the first half of that grant money went. She said Kilpatrick's office was cagey with turning over those records and eventually she found out that some of the money went to Carlita Kilpatrick. She said she confronted the mayor. She was very angry and that she never would have turned that money over in the first place if she knew that some of it would be going to Carlita Kilpatrick. A second witness that we heard from just minutes ago, the former director of that nonprofit that paid Carlita Kilpatrick, said she never performed almost any of the character education program services that she charged the group $75,000 for. We also heard earlier this morning from a government witness who said that Bobby Ferguson and received uh, some money from a grant that Kwame Kilpatrick had pushed for. Apparently, some of that grant money went to pay for Bobby Ferguson's offices in downtown Detroit, his private offices, to be refurbished. Now, we should say that the defense was quick to stand up and say that Carlita Kilpatrick did indeed perform at least some services for the $75,000 that she received, but the prosecution's witness, a woman who worked for the nonprofit that paid for Carlita Kilpatrick, said and seemed fairly convincing that Carlita Kilpatrick did almost none of the work that she was paid very handsomely to do for that nonprofit. We are live blogging everything that's going on right now in the courtroom. Uh, as it relates to witness testimony, you can follow along at WXYZ.com. I'll be getting back in the courtroom to continue blogging. Reporting live from downtown, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News.